Oh my god. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo. Somebody is literally streaming this game right now. What? What? Somebody is literally streaming Pokemon Sword and Shield right now. Yo, what's good everybody? My name is Deidre and oh my god, I was recording this video and a Sword and Shield a live stream was happening. Literally happening. I clicked on a link in this forum to, to find something, uh, you know, Sword and Shield related and it brought us to this live stream of a YouTube link. We got into there, into it when it was like 80 people watching and all of a sudden, um, like 5,000 people were in it and it got, it just got shut down. They were, they went to slumbering wield or whatever it's called the forest the, the starter forest and then after that it got shut down uh they caught a few pokemon obviously i can't show them but we did get a bunch of screenshots uh we did get a bunch of information we're all in discord going crazy right now um so if you guys want to join that link down below but yeah drop a like uh make sure you subscribe because all this news is about to get crazy the upcoming days leading to sword and shield are about to be so hype and only a few people saw this I, we were lucky enough to be part of those few people excuse me for part of those few people so i hope you guys enjoy the video as well as the other news that i covered uh in the original premise of the video uh so yeah thank you and uh here it is <laughs> sword and shield director omori maintains that the national decks will not be coming back what's good everybody my name is Deidre. i hope you're having a decent freaking day because because you deserve it and uh we got some sword and shield news and the first thing i want to cover is this dutch interview about the exp share and you know all that cool stuff with uh sigiri omori and masuda and in part of this interview they discussed the national decks and uh you know we got some translated stuff here on reddit that i just want to read really quick so it goes like this um the missing and national decks is of course also discussed of which we mainly want to know whether it will return in the future will there be an update or a third game according to Masuda, game freak wants to continue the approach for sword and shield we now have no plans to make the pokemon that are missing in the galar pokedex in game available that is an approach that we want to continue the Pokemon games in the future. Of course, up to now, it has not been possible to encounter every Pokemon in every game. So people had to transfer from old games via Pokemon Bank to the new game, for example. Currently, the Pokemon home map is under development where players can collect their different Pokemon and only Pokemon in the Galar Pokedex can be transferred from there to Sword and Shield. But the way of playing is actually not very different from before with Pokemon Bank. Until now, you've always been able to meet only the pokemon of a certain region oh my goodness all right guys so no pokemon returning to the national decks there will be no patches no in-game updates they don't plan to do anything like that and they're saying that um we shouldn't be too alarmed because you know past games we couldn't catch pokemon from past regions right we can only transfer them if we had the previous game so it shouldn't matter too much in these games and uh, we're gonna get, we're getting pokemon home to have all our pokemon in one place we encourage people to use pokemon home to collect their pokemon from old games there from there you might be able to take it to other games in the future so take good care of your old pokemon because you might be able to go out with them again in the future alluding to you know future games where they are going to include all pokemon um in the pokedex that haven't been in previous games and they actually stated that now will be all pokemon in under one dex at one time under one game i don't know <laughs> um but they did say that all pokemon that aren't in the national decks this time around will be returning in future games that could just be a really broad statement because it's inevitable maybe and maybe in like 20 years yeah or they mean like literally the next future game we'll see pokemon that didn't make it i don't know but that's really interesting so that's that uh that was actually a lot to cover <laughs> right off the bat but now that we got that out of the way, let's check Dark Umbra. Because Dark Umbra is really the place where things are going to, going to leak. Here. So if uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield leaks, it's going to be on Dark Umbra or 4chan. Uh, it, nonetheless, they'll all redirect to each other. Um, and so, yeah, Dark Umbra update. Uh, well, they are arguing. Uh, <laughs> they're just arguing. <laughs> Yesterday, they're arguing about politics. Today, they're arguing about <laughs> whether the game will leak or not. Even if it doesn't leak, I don't care. 
Uh, at this point, it's just pretty hilarious to see what they're arguing about on the floors. Um, we yeah, have so far none. Actually, I do have an update. Um, I don't know which page it is, but somebody did get their hands on a game in a Discord, but they're too scared to leak the game because they don't want repercussions from Nintendo. Uh, and they don't know how to safely upload it. And then there are like people from 4chan that are trolling and uploading fake games. Um, so that's pretty mean. All right. So, uh, it's like crash. <laughs> Uh, I think there are like way too many people on this forum right now just because it's getting so slow so we'll go over the other stuff for now and then maybe I'll find it towards the end of the video uh, the statement but uh, I wanted to put here that Nintendo is on the freaking hunt all right RIP F in the chat for Pokemon leaks very sad very sad times Pokemon leaks was one of the uh, main people posting leaks from 4chan and uh, the Twitter account got taken down today for copyright. I'm sure there are other ones. Pokemon Leaks is one that I just knew for sure. So yeah, F in the chat for them. Um, but speaking of Twitter, uh, Thank You Game Freak was actually trending in the United States. And uh, Thank You Game Freak has a, a bunch of tweets now. Thank you. Ooh. So last time I checked, there was like 52,000 tweets and it was trending yesterday too so this trended for a little bit not number one trending but it trended for a minute uh it's not trending anymore but three days of trending that's pretty good uh and even uh shigeri omori said um is the, is in trend all over the world happy five days left until pokemon sword and shield so woo yeah shigeri omori um it's pretty happy the morale in the pokemon game freak headquarters was apparently low according to some articles that came out recently obviously that's just speculation uh but apparently actually an inside source is apparently the one who said that who knows how true that is or if that's an exaggeration but whether that's true or not i i hope this makes the developers happy because yeah this was number one trending in america Fifty-two thousand tweets yesterday i can only imagine how much it has today don't know how to check but that's really cool i'm really happy and um we got some uh, new gameplay footage as well. Oops. We got some new gameplay footage as well from Pokey Times, and they're just going through the wild area. We, maybe we can make this bigger. Going through the wild area, just chilling. Um, you know, there's some stuff we kind of seen already. Like, look at this little tent. You know, if you haven't seen our our tent analysis video, <laughs> you guys want to check that out. You know, Pokemon camp analysis video. We got some beacons going up on here. Um. It's gonna be cool i like how we're gonna be able to like ride a bike into the water because you know in pokemon let's go and other games like you're walking you're running oh now you gotta do into this screen where you have to be asked do you want to surf yes okay go surfing animation okay five to ten seconds later now we're surfing oh now animation to get back on the land okay now we're walking around like nope with this game we got the bike and we just go from land to water to land to water uh we can just do that over and over again i freaking love that feature also what is that oh <laughs> heck yes um <clears throat> so yeah i think there's just kind of showcasing more of the overworld gameplay type thing like hey like the promotion of playing with friends and stuff i i love that they included this like it's actually kind of surprising because pokemon aside from um you know that's aside from like the sun and moon feature I forgot what it's called oh my god um they didn't really have like an mmo type thing <laughs> but here yeah you can just see everything running around and stuff uh, i really love that i really love that a lot um and yeah it's just you know they're just walking through the, through the uh, wild area not really anything we haven't seen maybe just some more angles <laughs> maybe i could do another like a map breakdown video people thought that was funny <laughs> that took me a while the map <laughs> if you know what i'm talking about i made a freaking whole map uh, showcasing all the landmarks in the game but anyways uh the pokemon company has canceled their sword and shield launch event at the tokyo sky tree pokemon center where masuda omori and other devs would appear due to operational reasons some are saying it's due to threats made towards the devs but others are saying they just want to avoid public backlash hmm uh, edit. There has only been speculation as to the real reason for the event cancellation. Whether there was threats or not is not clear yet, but I personally have not seen any proof other than people saying, speculating that something happened. Uh, yeah, it's all just speculation right now. Um, I mean, there are a lot of threats, there are a lot of angry people, but even with all the angry people, it's still the minority. But then again, it, t it only takes the minority for some real damage to be done. So I understand their decision if it were to be, uh, safety reasons, which is pretty crazy. Um pretty interesting 
we live in such a privileged time where we can riot and protest a video game in the comfort and safety of our homes. I, I'm not. I'm not dismantling like being it. You, you, everybody's free to criticize Game Freak. I'm just saying, like, isn't that kind of sick that like, like, not even about Pokemon. Like, we're all just here being able to protest a video game, like. And there's people out here starving and stuff. Like, can we all just take a moment to appreciate what we have? All right, let's get back on track. I, I was just thinking about that. Anyways, uh, so yeah, maybe safety reasons are going on. I don't know, but yeah, that's canceled. So sorry to my Tokyo friends who are looking forward to find this article. What is this? Oh my God. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, somebody is literally streaming this game right now. What? What? Somebody is literally streaming Pokemon Sword and Shield right now. Oh my God. Okay, I, wow. I don't wanna play this and make a video about it. This is actually crazy. Leaks are coming soon. People are getting their hands on this game. This is insane. Wow. Okay, this is literally live. Somebody's literally streaming this right now. Oh my god. <laughs> Get this out of my screen. I'm Nintendo's taking down my bro. Alright. So some crazy stuff's about to come out. I'm wrapping up the video right here, but this is insane. If you guys enjoyed, let me know what you think. Something's gonna come out. We're gonna find out some information. I'm watching this stream all day. Obviously, I can't link it for safety reasons, but if you wanna join our Discord down below to keep up with all the news, uh, definitely do so. Do so. And uh, with that said, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I freaking love you. Daily videos coming all this week, guides and everything like that. We do not stop. We're gonna work hard this week. Sword and Shield release is gonna be amazing. Uh, yeah, peace. <laughs>